If you want to try to put a face on something as big and as complicated as health care, then this is where you come. Whitesburg, Kentucky, population about 2,100, a hard-working town on hard times. It's also home to some of the unhealthiest people in the country, many of whom are treated here at the Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation, a medical clinic serving thousands annually. We're talking about the sickest, the poorest, the patients who have the worst diseases in, in the whole United States. If, if we were a weather phenomenon, it would be declared a disaster area. My lungs are shot. I have black lung, COPD. Last week I had congestive heart failure and kidney failure. Hypertension, uh, cancer, colon cancer is very high here. Um, I'm a cancer survivor. The reason many say they are so sick is because they couldn't afford luxuries like doctor visits and preventive medicine. But that changed in 2013 when Kentucky's Medicaid program was expanded under the Affordable Care Act. 400,000 uninsured Kentuckians gained access to health care thanks to Obamacare. Did it make a difference? Oh, yeah, it made a big difference. It saved his life. For me personally, the, you know, the insurance was a major lifesaver because I would not have been able to afford the treatments. Kentucky would seem to be an Obamacare success story. And now, all the Republican talk of repeal and replace has folks here scared. I think a lot of people aren't sure what to think right now. Which is understandable, except... John, you voted for Donald Trump. I did. Trump, we were behind Trump. This part of Kentucky gave Trump some of the strongest support in the state, voting nearly 80% for the candidate who made no secret of the fact he wanted to repeal Obamacare. What were you thinking? I'm thinking he can turn this thing around. We've been in a major mess. He didn't say he was going to wipe out insurance. He said he was going to, to, to redo it. Well, I agree. It does to be redone on certain things. Many here believe for all the good it's done, Obamacare could be better lower premiums primarily, and they believe Trump will make it better, or that's what they hope. That's exactly what I'm hoping. That's, you still that's have, why I pulled for him, yes. You still have that hope? I do. I do. 20-year-old Brooke Fleming voted for Hillary Clinton and now is scared for her grandmother and many others in her town who she believes are wrong to count on President Trump. I don't know. It's just crazy that people who are the poorest, who need the most help, are gonna vote for somebody who I just feel like won't help us. In reality, many here aren't just hoping Republicans will keep them covered when it comes to health care. They are literally staking their life on it. If it goes away, I don't know. I, I don't have no backup plan. It's gonna be like a silent death sentence on people like me. Just a matter of time.